Britain, Germany, and Italy agree to split the cost of a brand new plane. This approach is affordable, but the different requirements are a sticking point. Britain won't compromise on its need for a tactical and nuclear strike aircraft. West Germany wanted a ground strike aircraft, but also a maritime strike aircraft. Italy has to have an aircraft which can do electronic warfare. It's looking like a design disaster. There's a lot of criticism at the time. That this is too big a project to involve collaboration, but it isn't going to work. The design team hits on a radical solution. An adaptable aircraft with limitless applications. One size fits all. The same underlying airframe can be used for different reasons. The key to unlocking the tornado's different functions, free the wings. The theory was that you could have all of these things by moving the wings. Variable sweep wings start at a broad 25 degree angle. Ideal for takeoff and landing at any airfield. Sweeping back to 45 degrees allows top fuel conservation for high altitude long range patrols. And back again to 67 degrees, an ultra streamlined profile for supersonic nuclear strikes. The three countries split production. Italy takes the wings. Germany, the mid-fuselage. Britain, the front and rear fuselage. For the engines, they work together, adapting supersonic air intake technology from the Concorde passenger jet. On the smaller Tornado, it gives Rolls-Royce engines the perfect flow of air to provide colossal thrust. You'd have a hotshot injector, which basically was a a flamethrower, and that would ignite the fuel in the jet pipe. The nozzle would open until he achieved max reheat, a great big flame coming out the back. International collaboration so often goes wrong. But in the tornado, it creates a versatile powerhouse no one country could have dreamed up alone. The partnership that created the tornado is truly extraordinary. To get the cooperation, to design an airplane, to do all the things that the tornado ended up doing was a miracle. After almost a decade of development, the tornado debuts in October 1979. One aircraft, multiple variants, fulfilling every requirement. It's a sleek aircraft. It can fly above Mach 2, which is extremely rare. The swept wings are great. Once those wings were all the way back, sleeked back for speed, and it's going fast, it really was what an amazing machine. It made you feel really strong and fearless and in control of what was going on. We fly down a valley in a tornado, and you feel like you're doing this. <laughs> you're like, come on, here I am. It had this immense presence. 